Okay, let's make a coil for our radio. Okay, here's an I one of those ideas. Since these are so flimsy, take one, take an extra one, cut it down the line, fold it over, stick it in, and mark the overlap, bring it back out, cut it. Now we're going to take and put some good old Elmers on this, smear it around, stick it in there, and we're going to, we're going to do make uh, this tube more reinforced. So let's do that now. We'll do our crafts today stuff. And we're going to take this and just kind of smear it around. And I just got this old piece from uh, siren or something. Out of the garbage. Okay. Roll it back up. Stick inside of our tube. Pull it out so that joint that we just cut meets and it's nice and tight. <clears throat> now we'll just let this dry for about 10 minutes and that will be nice and reinforced for us. If you have some uh, alligator clips or some uh, clothespins Take and use them like clamps. <coughs> that should work pretty good. But there we go. So now we got that reinforced. All right. So now here's the tube, and it's set, and it's a lot stronger now because there's it's two layers in here. I already put two holes in it for the wire and the way I did that I'll, I'll do one on the other side to show you what I did took a knife you can use anything that will point poke through get your hole started here work it nice and easy you don't want to make it too big but you want it so the wire will go through and I like to take like a uh, drill bit and I run it through and it out a couple times. That makes you a nice little hole there, okay? So now I'm not going to probably wind this whole thing because I've got a uh, as you know already, I've got plenty of coils to work with right now. But as I said before, the enamel co um, coated 22 gauge is probably your best bet. Uh, I I get the best results with this and I've been trying all different kinds of things lately. I got a little teeny one I was working with. Uh, I've got my coils that I showed you before. Out of all of them I've gotten the best results with this one. So uh, if it was me, I mean this is your project, you can do if you're working on it, you can do it any way you want or you might only have one kind available to you then I would go with that but if you have a chance to get this like I said Radio Shack's got them the, the 22 enamel coated okay right now I'm just going to use some of uh, this hookup wire here okay run some out now to start out you want to have some kind of a lead coming off of it so I'm going to run it through here run it out the hole there. And we got you can see that and you can double loop it you want to pull it out that's why if you make those holes big enough you can actually run it through again and have it come out twice so it's wrapped once. 
Okay, now we're going to start wrapping this wire. Now, you're going to want to put a couple wraps on it first before you start putting your uh, tapping loops in. So we'll run it around and you want to keep it close. You want to take your time. Don't try to put it on a drill or it usually doesn't work doing that. So there's several ways to make this loop, this tapping loop. Uh, and all these cottons on the wire you're using and you know how patient you are. One way is to just bring it up like this give it a twist or two and kind of hold it in place and keep bringing your wire around. Okay, so now you've got one tap there already. Now, another method you can use uh, and it works best with like wooden pencils. But I've got a mechanical pencil here. I think I can show you it works okay with this too. And what you do is take a pencil and run it through, bring it here, loop it around the pencil. Matter of fact, I would I would run the loop on the inside, kind of like a half hitch kind of a deal. Okay. Bring it down there and continue around. And you keep going. You keep going. Keep going and push it, make sure it's tight, it stays, doesn't cross over. Try to keep it neat. And here's another hint while we're doing this. If you have a piece of tape that's uh, already torn off and stuck to the side, if something happens like you're in the middle of this and the phone rings or something happens and you got to stop for a minute, it's nice to have that piece of tape. You can lay your wire down, put your tape on there, and go do what you have to do, and then you can come back, and then that way it doesn't all unravel on you. So you go around again. Now we're coming up. We want to make another tap. Oh, then let's do that. Then let's wrap it around. Whoops. Put our pencil through it. This wire is probably not the best to use with this technique, but this is. This works better with the light enamel. With this stuff here, because it's thick already, you twist it and it'll pr it pretty much stays there. And then you just continue on, continue on. Uh, I would put as many loops as I could on there, as many tapping loops as I could, because that's going to give you different areas to work on on your uh, on your uh, wire. Now another thing to think about <laughs> later on, if you want to permanently mount this, you can run wires off of each one of those taps, run it to a switch, and just switch them that way. So, let's pull this out of here now. So you've got the pencil running all the way through, you get down here to the end, you, you have your two holes already made, and you do the same thing. You run it in, out, you can loop it again, and pull it tight, and that way it'll stay for you. Now some guys like to put um, like rubber glue over it. You might even in areas might want to hit the uh, uh, hot glue gun on it and then that way it doesn't come un unraveled also. But I just wanted to show you this. This is, uh, this is the best way to make your coil. You know you gotta do it by hand. That's just the way it is. And <clears throat> So that's that, that's one of the big major steps getting ready. Okay, friends. Well, that's the main thing I wanted to show you today was about the winding of the coil. 
that's one of the main important parts that you have to have and it's it's one of those things that you know you're going to you're going to have to do it yourself and the cool thing about it is is you don't have to you know you can do just one and you'll get some stations in it but once you get the one you might not be satisfied that you might want to do a couple more and say well you know what uh, let's see what this coil will do so work on that uh, get your coil together and hopefully we'll be here back here later on uh, this weekend and we're going to start putting everything together and try to get our first signal together so until then uh, uh, take care and uh, I'll see you real soon